Hey, welcome on in, guys. Tobin here with you. Thanks for checking out the channel. Miami Heat, they fall to the Cleveland Cavaliers tonight, 111 to 99 in a very, very, very sloppy game for Miami. It was uh, it was a really rough one to watch, especially midway through the second quarter. Miami had this incredible run where they scored like 11 points in 60 seconds. Orlando Robinson, Josh Richardson, Caleb Martin. They were lighting it up. You were getting big time electric performances. And then just all of a sudden, the Cavaliers said no more and turned that thing basically on its head immediately. Miami went on this run. They get up 16 and Cavaliers just answer with a 15 0 run back just to completely eradicate the whole thing. And Miami was, you know, swimming upstream basically the entire way from there. It was uh, interesting because they mentioned on the broadcast. After the first quarter, it was three straight quarters of Miami holding opponents under 20. And then you have back-to-back -back where uh, it gets into the mid-30s for their opponent. A 36-27 uh, a to 27 second quarter and a 35-23 uh, third quarter. And, and that was, you know, the huge story of this game for Miami. And there were two things that were major factors in this. One of them was Miami Heat could not take care of the basketball. 18 turnovers tonight for the Miami Heat. Um, just dreadful and giving extra possessions to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Um, one of those where you could just feel, you know, all momentum that was, was there for Miami just slipped away immediately. And then the other backbreaker for them was the rebound battle tonight where Miami got out rebounded 51 to 37 tonight. So that was also a, a big time killer, especially in a game where, you are having, you know, Cleveland is getting going a little bit, especially with Donovan Mitchell when we know how electric he can be. You get some of their shooters together. You know, George DeYang in that fourth quarter put them out in a, in a big, big-time spot where it was kind of, you know, like, all right, it's a 13-point game, and, like, can you make this anything kind of close? And DeYang immediately just is going bang, bang to just grow the lead to their biggest of 18 and, you know, it's a, it's a tough battle all the way for Miami. Um, and as much as the defense was ugly at times today, because you could definitely say that was the case, but I, I really just felt like this was one of those games offensively where nobody for Miami took over this game. And, you know, you're in a time right now where there is no Bam Adebayo, who is just such an offensive hub for this team. And tonight... You needed one of those nights where, you know, I'm not saying Jimmy Butler has to go out there and, you know, take this game over. But, like, if he's going to have a game like tonight where he's 5 of 15, it's like, how do you expect to go win those games when you don't have Bam and Tyler already and Jimmy gives you that? And then on top of it, you get Duncan Robinson's worst performance of the season, which is a shame. You know, he comes off a game where, you know, he is in, uh, you know, on the borderline of flirting with a triple double. I've been, uh, you know, people have, uh, called me to the carpet for saying he flirted with the triple double, but, um, Duncan tonight was just, I mean, he was a mess. He was 0 seven, couldn't hit a shot, four fouls, six turnovers, one point. He would, he was truly atrocious tonight. He was bad. And Jimmy Butler was bad. You know, Jimmy, I usually say, like, even on his worst nights, can will himself to about 19 points. Not tonight, 16, 6-7 six from the free throw line. But just one of those games where it just looks like he's got rocks in his shoes, you know, just doesn't have the same lift on his shot, doesn't have that confidence in his shot, kind of seems like he's just going through the motions. Just one of those nights. Just one of those nights where he's like, ah, Jimmy doesn't got it tonight. And... You know, you'll get that with a guy when he's starting to hit 34, especially in the regular season, and you know that Jimmy takes the, the, there's a different temperament that he goes to the regular season with, uh, you know, especially in early December. You know, there's there's going to be those nights where he's going to see if there's those opportunities there for him, but you didn't get anything from him. So who is going to take over this team on, on offense and, and get you there? And it's like, you know, all right, Kayla Martin, you, you, you know, you, you had a night tonight where nobody scored over 20 points for you. You know, again, nice performances for the bench. You know, I mean, you probably you couldn't ask for a better night from them. Kevin Love was amazing. Kevin Love uh, comes in there. He gets you 12 rebounds tonight. 
he got you like six rebounds in three minutes, getting out of passes, getting the things going. So he was tremendous. Big night from downtown. Jay Rich, he gives you 17 points. He was killing it from downtown, five of seven. Um, you know, and, and Jaime, you know, is just is doing his uh his normal thing. I will say though, Jaime played 35 minutes tonight. I do wonder there are there are a couple of times here with Jaime. I am wondering in the fourth quarter if there's a little bit of wear down there. Um because we know he's going to play all the fourth quarter minutes. We know that he's going to be out there for the entire time. And I've been noticing a lot in these fourth quarters, like he's usually on the guard. Like he's going to go out there and it's a tough ask, you know, to ask this guy to go and get you uh, some tough buckets on top of the idea that the people are going to probably try and go, uh, go try him. Um, but, and there was a point tonight where the Heat really had their last chance and he was defending Donovan Mitchell, forced to miss. He got the ball, and it was uh, it was uh, an open three to Hakez. Would have cut it to six, and he misses it. Heat again, then get it. Spider travels. He get the ball right back. Caleb Martin, he has a uh, corner three open. He misses. That was like that was their last chance. Mitchell got right by Hakez, and J- Jimmy got there way too late in the paint. And that was pretty much the dagger for that game. But yeah, this was just one of those games where I, I felt like while I understand there were those two awful defensive quarters and everybody's going to go to, Oh, they don't have bam. Of course, you know, you got to have somebody who can get you some buckets, you know, in, in today's NBA, you got, I mean, they're not going to get to a hundred. They're Oh, and five, they don't crack a hundred. Um, you got no shot in today's game. If you can't get to a hundred and you know, this was a game that not only did they get to 99 points, but they did it with 15 threes, which is not a terrible night for them. Um, you know, you got four guys tonight to hit you at least three three pointers in Caleb, Kyle, Kevin, and Jay Rich. So you, you had a pretty fine shooting night, but you know, the free throws, you had Jimmy, of course, he's gonna will his way and get his seven free throws, but you know, Kyle got a, got you a, a pinch of them. Uh, one of them was with Max Struess on a four point play near the Cavs bench, so not exactly a lot of pressure there. Duncan got you a couple. It was basically his only point tonight. You know, it, I just felt like watching this tonight that Miami didn't have anybody who could just get them on uh, any kind of a run late that was going to take this game over. It just felt like, and even with Kyle, it was like. You know, Kyle came into the the fourth quarter with 15 points, and you know he takes a couple of late threes that were really, really late looks, and you're just like, hey, you know, like maybe Kyle. Kyle this is usually one of those nights. Is Kyle gonna go? Maybe go Kyle. Um, you know, are you gonna put it in the hands of the rookie like Tyler Tyler Hero mode and let Hawkes, you know, go take it over? No, and of course Jimmy's gonna take a couple of shots there, but like. You know, it, 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 to me, it was one of these things where it's like the the discouraging thing for me was like, man, it just feel like no nobody knew when to kind of stake their claim on this game. And obviously for Cleveland, you know, you have Donovan Mitchell, who was a monster tonight, 27 points, 13 rebounds. He came out guns blazing in that third quarter where – He's just, you know, hitting back to back three balls. He had a Duncan Robinson basically said, Hey, here's the here's the basketball. Goes down. Then he fouls him. And then right after that, uh Duncan Robinson went and uh had a moving screen. So that was another heat turnover. He had a I mean, just a terrible night. Um, you know, Cleveland started the third quarter on a base a 16 1 run, three three balls from Spida. And then the other thing was, here's the thing that's crazy about it. You know, Darius Garland today had just a really rocky first half. He had like four fouls and got like no playing time, and he outscored everybody on the Heat tonight. That that I mean, you know, that that just goes to show you just what a rough night it was scoring for Miami. Is that Darius Garland, great player, but basically played a half a basketball. And went out and scored everybody on your team. So there's got to be some kind of 
decision making that comes. First of all, the obvious, you got to take care of the basketball better. That'll fix a lot and, and probably would have had the heat in a much better position to win tonight's game. Um, but when you're going like this, like, you know, somebody has got to step up, raise their hand and be like, all right, I'm going to be the one who's going to go shot for shot here and, and carry it a little bit. And it just felt like everything tonight was just in, in, in little spurts. And that was, uh, that was, a the, the, the tough part of watching tonight. And, you know, Miami's got a critical week coming up because, you know, they're 12 and 10, which as Jimmy, I think, put it after they had their, their 20 point mark is like, it's mediocre. It's fine. Um, it's no sense. It's not a panic mode time yet, because obviously you don't have Bam. You don't have Haywood. You don't have Tyler hero. Um, you're, you know, Orlando Robinson was fine tonight. You know, he, he did what he could do, but you know, not much. He didn't, he didn't do much. Thankfully you got such a great game from Kevin, but you know, you count on Kevin love. It's, it's a hard, it's a hard ask. I think consistently night in and night out. And so Miami has a critical week coming up because I don't know when you're going to get Bam back and when the smart time to bring him back is. We have no idea. And Tyler, they're not practicing tomorrow. Maybe they'll practice on um, Sunday. I mean, that's a possibility. And then, you know, maybe we'll get some kind of a, a health update on Tyler. But they have a critical week coming up because you have a, a week where you're taking on, you got four games this upcoming week. And it's against the Hornets and it's against the Bulls. And those are two of the weaker teams in this conference. You know, the Bulls are, are going a little bit better right now. And they've already beaten you this year. But, you know, this is to me, this is a week like. Even without Bam, Miami has three or four of these at home. They haven't been fantastic at home. They're five and four right now. But this is a week to me like Miami has to go three and one. Like you have to you have to go out there and you have to get to this to a point where you're 15 and 11 after this week going into a big time fun matchup against the Minnesota Timberwolves who they never beat have never beaten them since they got Jimmy Butler. But you have to set yourself up this week with at least a three and one week in my mind, even with, with Bam, without Bam. This is a, a team, a coach, and and a team that believes in their depth that I would like to see them go about this and take three out of four this upcoming week. But, you know, it, it's it's tough to, to know what kind of consistency you're going to get. And, you know, this one was still, even with everything said, within striking distance back, you know, right there down to the last, you know, two minutes of this game. But it was it was just you put yourself in such a hole from going up 16 and that's saying then in that second quarter, blowing it right away and then getting into, you know, an 18 point deficit out of the gate in the fourth quarter. Like you need everything to go perfect. You need all those clay shots to go in or uh, you're going to find yourself where you're at, which is a uh, a record that's just with your head above water with a uh, granted a ton of injuries It's not panic time for the Miami Heat but I do think it is a it is a a gut check to them a little bit and I think they need to to realize that this is a week where they got to uh take advantage of a schedule lightening up a little bit for them and especially with a ton of games at home